Alright guys, today is a rare occasion where me, a Windows user, is going into a Linux platform, Zorin OS. So this here is an experience hands-on on how hard is it to use a Linux. The first thing we need to go in is settings. Alright, every Windows or every system you go in must go into settings to know what we are up against So let's go for the first one first Wi-Fi is exactly like Android your handphone you can go and see all this and press Wi-Fi on or off airplane mode Just like phone Okay, the second one is network wired cable unplugged VPN you can set it up, network proxy, everything just like Windows. Bluetooth on or off, very simple. Background, they're all pre-installed just like Windows. Notification, just like Windows. I would guess it will come out from here. So you get to see the notification right here at your uh, time bar. Okay, so let's go into search. Here you can see this could be when you are inside the start button you type in the search anything like contacts so you can see the contacts here so if I were to turn it off turn it off turn it off yes okay then you type in contacts that is still here so I'm not sure what does this even do anyway the search is not important now the application here you can see all of this that you can remove the notifications or open in software and you will see directly from the app store of Zorin OS it is the same as Mac OS they have an app store also everything here you can install with just a button click so here you can launch or remove it up to you now this one in particular is very important this is a uh, place where you install your drivers okay so if you want to install your nvidia driver your amd driver they're all here so you just go in privacy here you can see the connectivity the location services thunderbolt file history you can do it here to automatic trash uh, automatic delete trash or see your file history and etc so over here is a screen lock you gotta see you can change the time uh, five minutes to the screen blank automatic screen lock then you can see like over here automatic lock after the screen blank then here lock screen on suspend notification then here is the online accounts where you sync your account sharing you can see this is for screen sharing media sharing then here is where you configure your sound you know your microphone your volume your input uh, you can choose your alert sound everything is all here very simple to use so here's the power settings you can choose brightness your blank screen your automatic suspense blah 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 they're all the same display here this is much more easier than windows so right here you can see the orientation just choose whichever orientation you prefer resolution refresh rate your scaling the night light you know at night you want to turn on the night light to sleep right so that's what we always do but this is different this night light is just to change it to become orange so that helps prevent eye strain and sleep sleeplessness okay so this is how it works it's very simple to use and it's all built in so here is mouse and touchpad you get to see I think this is on the touchpad which one is your left button right button I guess then the others are all the mouse speed your touchpad everything this all configure your touchpad here and the other one is your mouse here so yeah everything is done easily keyboard this is your keyboard shortcut you can choose any keyboard shortcut printer this is automatically check my printer and then you can go additional printer settings and install a printer same exact like how you do it in windows okay so in removable media i will guess this is a separate set default 
for your USB, your hard disk, so you plug in, then if it is a CD, then you can put it to whichever CD <coughs> player you prefer. So now on the color, there is a simple color profiling configuration. Just go in on this button, then you can see which profile is enabled. You can even add profile, choose whichever profile and try it out. I have not tried this out before, so we're going to do it in detail next episode. This is just a quick glance on the settings. So here are all the region and language for your computers, English, then your language English, then where is it from, blah blah blah. So accessibility is all your yeah, accessibility. So it's all the, the basics. Anyway, nothing much. Here is the user where you input your password, your fingerprint login, your account. It's much more easier than Windows. Alright, here's the default apps. This is almost similar to the Windows apps, the default one. You can choose which web to be defaulted to, the calendar, the, the music, what is supposed to play default. Then you can go to date and time. You can see the date and time here. Then here is the about. This is where you see your device name, your specs, and there is software updates. You can check this. This is a similarly to Windows update. Just click on this and it will update your Zorin OS. Okay. There, this authentication requirement is done every single time when you try to do installation or any other thing. Similarly to Mac OS, a hassle. Everything is done. Now to actually make it your own, you have to go into Zorin appearance yeah Zorin appearance will make it yours it's a team store so you can actually choose whichever team you prefer i will try to be like windows 11 because it look cool even though it's like a mac os but still it looks cool now here is the team you can choose to make it all dark mode and let me choose it to change this whole color to orange i think now you should be able to see it's orange then others you can see is other type of team you can choose it like over here is preset tree stuff i don't want actually i want it to be this this that so yeah then you can choose a different type of shell i'm not sure so yeah you can change it but the problem is on team wait, where is it ah, on layout you can upgrade to zorin os pro uh, you have to pay money to actually buy this version it then they will allow you to get more interface and you don't have to do any um, coding to actually allow you to install uh, some soft uh, some teams or you can just use the default one okay so now in the interface mode you can see animations animal animation the jelly mode Alright, so over here, taskbar, you can choose the to customize your taskbar. You want it to be able to view this or you want it to be like just dark like this. But you just don't want it and then you just lock as default. So yeah, you can do so many things. Then here desktop here, icon of desktop. You can choose just like how Windows is to trash over here. Then that's a font, you can choose a font. So yeah, now I've made myself a custom PC desktop. So this is the first part of the episode. Come back tomorrow, come back next time for the future video on my journey. So thank you all for watching Famous Cyberamus signing out. Click subscribe if you haven't, click like. Go to the end of my video and click the playlist. In the playlist, there are all my videos all at the corner on the right side. So, thank you all for watching.